Okay, so here's what always happens. I'm going to teach a new workshop in Lightroom. And so before I start getting things together for that, I always check and see if there's some updates, some new news, anything I should be including in the workshop, of course. So I uh, jump over to um, uh, Creative Cloud and look for some updates. And sure enough, when you look in Creative Cloud, it says, oh, there's an update. All right, so let's just, well, okay. Open up Creative Cloud. And it says, oh, there's some updates in there. And I read through and it says, update enables uh, fill edges for uneven panorama, da, 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 da. Great, looks, looks great. Might as well update it before I start the workshop. So I click the, click the update doodah and it, you know, downloads the application, update in process, yada, 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 we'll go back, come back, go to launch my new updated Lightroom. And what do I get? The, well, at least read it as far as I'm concerned, your catalog needs to be updated. So without having told me in advance, what they've done is they've updated my Lightroom app to not just an update to the old version, but an actual new version. Now, somewhere in there, they may have mentioned that, but I don't know, I missed it. I always miss it. I wish they would send out, like when they do an, a Lightroom update, well, those who know me know that I love Adobe and I love Lightroom, um, and uh, that's why they're on my favorite things, but a couple of things drive me nuts. They do these updates and they don't send out a big, you know, sort of warning email saying, hey, we got this new thing, but you're going to have to update your catalog. You should get ready for it, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So all you get is the message, your catalog needs to be updated. Yeah. Okay. So right then, back out of it, right? And first things first, go back up your system. Just, I don't know, just in case. It's, it's, a, it's a safety measure. I always do that. So I've done that now, right? And what I'm going to do now is walk you through the process that I would undertake or that I did under, that I am undertaking. In fact, I'm doing it right now. So it could get a little choppy, but bear with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to update the old catalog to the new version and see what happens. Okay. So here we go. Uh, so I'm going to launch Lightroom blithely. I see the Lightroom icon. Nothing looks like it's changed. So I launched the Lightroom icon. Bada bing. Okay. And it launches. Pretty, and I go, oh, pretty new picture. Whale, mountains. That's really nice. I like that. Um, but again, it's still not clicking in my brain here. What's going on? Then I get Lightroom Classic. I always work in Lightroom Classic, by the way. Lightroom Classic Catalog Upgrade. We need to upgrade your catalog for use with Lightroom Classic. Lightroom Classic will create a new catalog file in the destination indicated below. Previews will also be mo moved to this location, converted for Lightroom Classic. Woo! -hoo. Okay. Then it says, uh, there, then in bold, it says, this cannot be undone, right? Uh, new catalog will be com uh, will not be compatible with previous versions. Well, by the way, they overwrote your previous version of Lightroom anyway. I looked. They didn't save it. Um, so what they're doing is they're right updating the Lightroom catalog. Okay, so that's fine. But it used to be in this dialog box, you had some options available. You could choose where the new catalog went, what the new catalog name was, was going to be. Now, it wasn't exactly easy peasy to find, but now there's nothing. If I click in the window where it says upgrade destination, nothing happens. So what they're going to do is they're going to write me a new Lightroom catalog, which is fine. They're going to name it. Now, I always name my master catalog. I keep all my photos in one catalog called the, the RD master catalog, right? So uh, what they're going to do is they're going to create the RD master catalog LR classic, which is what I called it, dash 2018 dash two. And here is the source of potential confusion because the next time the Lightroom catalog are, needs to be updated, it's going to create a catalog called dash two dash two. 
Believe me, I tried it. So um, what I'm going to propose here is a sort of a two-step process, right? I'm going to let Lightroom upgrade the catalog and it's going to create a dash two version of the catalog. But then I'm going to go in and rename it myself so that I can control what the hell it is. So in the future, I know what's going on. I'm not, you know, sort of subject to just what Lightroom want to do. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to upgrade the catalog. And it says, please wait, update catalog file format. Now this is my main catalog. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing a high wire act here. Um, so this could take a minute or two to do. Uh, yes, it's definitely going to take a minute or two. So I'm going to pause here. Uh, actually, before I do, while it's updating, let me just tell you what we're going to do. We're going to let it update and open the new catalog, which should be my Lightroom catalog. It's going to be the RD catalog dash two. Then we're going to locate that catalog. We're going to take the old version and store it. And then we're going to take the new version and rename it something that makes a little more sense than just dash two so that we know what's going on and what's happening with our catalog. So let's take a break. We'll be back in a minute when everything's updated. Okay, so now we're back. Um, I've watched the progress bar for a while and uh, Adobe has gone along and updated my catalog and opened up the catalog. And it opens up, looks exactly like the previous catalog. In fact, it opens up to the page that I was last look, look, working on, Ooh, looking at, working on, whatever. So what I always do just out of habit is just make sure things seem to be working fine. So I, you know, I click around here. I'm looking at the shoot I did in New York. Um, I, there's the folder of images for my DigiB review. So uh, on Dive app, everything seems to be working fine. Um, so before I dig any deeper into it, start exploring all the new, uh, new tools and toys and all that sort of stuff, the thing that I want to do is make sure that I get my catalogs organized and that I know what I'm doing there. So let's look at what's happened in terms of the catalog. First off, right up here at the top, if you look at the top of the Lightroom menu bar up here, right? It says my uh, Lightroom catalog is, as I said, RD Master Catalog dash LR Classic, Lightroom Classic. I put that in there myself, dash 2018 now says dash two. Now 2018 is not for my shots from 2018 because I keep all of my photography in one catalog. 2018 refers to the year that I made the catalog. Now, for a while there, Adobe stopped uh, giving version numbers or something or another with their uh, catalog uh, versions or updates. So I started putting the date on there. Well, I noticed that now they've gone to uh, a version number again. So if we look here under Lightroom Classic, about Lightroom Classic, we notice this is the 9.0 release. So I think what I'm going to do is um, put that into the title just so that I really know exactly what I'm doing. Right. So here we're going to here's what we're going to do. Uh, if I right click right up here in the top menu bar of the light of the Lightroom window, that's the that's the Lightroom window up here. If I right click on my catalog name, I get a listing of where that catalog is. It's in pictures, Lightroom, RD master catalog. So I'm going to open up that folder and see what's in there. Aha. So you can see now, if we look at this, Lightroom has made a bit of a mess here, right? Because now I have all of these files. Like I have my Lightroom catalog. I have the dash two catalog. 
catalog 2018-2. And then I have the 2018 without the dash two. And then I have previews with and without and helper. It's a bloody mess. So this kind of stuff scares the bejesus out of me. So what I want to do is first of all, put all the old, you see over here, I've got a folder and then right next to my RD master called catalog. I have a folder here called old catalogs, right? That's a Lightroom 5 catalog, a Lightroom CC catalog. I could probably throw them out. They're no use anymore, but I'm, I'm, they don't take up a lot of space. So first thing I want to do is come in here and choose my 28 catalog. And these are all the dash twos and the 2018 helper data, dash LR data. That's where Lightroom stores all, some sort of data. So I'm gonna select those two and I'm going to put them into a folder, new folder. And I'm gonna call that uh, 2018 catalog and stash that in the old catalogs. There we are. So now I have all of these uh, files, the helper data, the previews, the smart previews, the sync LR data, the actual catalog, the RD master LR cat, the cat dash wall and the cat lock. Okay. Now the cat wall and the cat lock, those are folders that are just there when the application is actually running. So what I'm going to do is I am going to quit Lightroom. I'm going to skip the backup right now. Okay, so now those extra folders are gone. So here's the Lightroom class, the Lightroom catalog. Now what I want to do is change the name of this catalog. But in order for that to work, I have to name all the other parts that are in here the um, helper data, the previews, the smart preview. I want to name them all the exact same name. So I'm going to copy and paste the name in there, right? Um, but leave the helper previews, smart preview and sync words there. So I'm going to walk you through this. So I'm going to take this catalog, hit enter. And what I'm going to do is it's still LR classic. But what I'm going to do is 2019 2019 version V. Uh, maybe I'll hit a dash V nine point or nine version nine. So that tells me I'm making this catalog in the year 2019 and I'm also making it, it's my version nine of Lightroom uh, Classic, right? So if I take that, that's gonna be my name. So what I wanna do before I even close this is copy this, Command C, and then close it. Then I wanna go into each of these folders and paste the information just like this from where it says dash two. There we are. And hit this. So I'm pasting in exactly the same name right here. So now all my files will have exactly the same name. So now I've changed my name to 
RD Master Catalog. That tells me that's my main catalog. Uh, Lightroom Classic 2019 version 9. Right, so now I know exactly what this catalog was made for. If they come up with version 10 and I have to up make a new catalog, I'll know exactly what I'm doing in future. Now, what I want to do is take this master catalog here and double click on it to launch it. All right, so that this will open up Lightroom and launch it. Dun 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 dun. Because I got one more little tweak to do here. So when it launches, again, it's exactly the same, only you look up here in the title bar, it now says RD Master Catalog dash LR Classic 2019 version nine. That's great. That's exactly what I wanted to say because now I have made my name my own. So I know exactly what's going on with my catalog. The only thing I want to do is go in here and go into preferences and under general, I always like the default catalog to be my master catalog. I always want Lightroom to open up my master catalog. Now I make other catalogs mostly for the purposes of teaching and workshops and stuff like that. However, my master catalog has all of my photography in it. That's the one that I always want Lightroom to open to. So here, where it says when starting up, use this catalog, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the one I just created here, which is Rob Lightroom RD Master Catalog, RD Master Catalog LR Classic 2019 version 9. Yeah, I know it's a ridiculously long name, but it does tell me everything I need to know about why I have this catalog as opposed to anything else. So now every time I launch Lightroom by hitting the icon, uh, it will automatically launch to this catalog. If I want to get to a different catalog for per teaching purposes, or if I have a catalog of some specific photographs for any particular reason, I can launch that separately by double clicking on it. But what this prevents me from doing is inadvertently opening up a different catalog and then importing to it or doing things to my files in there without realizing that I'm not working in my master catalog. That's why I always like to have all my pictures in my master catalog. So I know when I import to this catalog, it's going into my big catalog. When I'm working on there, I know exactly what I'm doing and it keeps me organized. And um, I've seen what happens to people if you don't do it this way. So this is a good way. And so now every time Lightroom comes up with a completely new version, not just an update to an existing version, but a new version which requires a new catalog. This is the steps you can go through to make sure that you stay organized and that everything stays on track. So I think that's all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.